All right, there, YouTube guys. I've got something to show you. I uh, bought a uh, solid state relay. It's a SSR 5 to 22 volt DC 40 amp plus heat sink. Uh, there's a YouTube uh, person I bought it from, A N N A 758595. Alright, uh, came from Nanjing, China, of course. Alright, I got it Friday. Got it all hooked up. Worked fine all day Friday. Um, about, I guess, some about midday Saturday, we got some wind. So, you know, my inverter only uses about 20 amps at 24 volts. So that's within the range of the 40 amps at 220 volts, right? All right. Well, I started to smell something inside of my inverter. And I thought, ooh, man, it stinks. And I noticed my divert light was off, but yet my batteries were still discharging. I was well below 22 volts, setting at almost 19. So I went ahead and shut off all my power, opened it up, and I had smoke inside my cabinet. Um, I've got a small fan running on the heat sink that came with this. Right there's the heat sink. You can see it. I have a little small fan I had sitting in front of it, you know, to make sure I kept it cool. But I figured I'm only using half the current, so I really wouldn't have had to, but yet, I, you know, went overkill. Um, so I wrote this person to let them know what happened, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Alright, I've already taken the heat sink off. This is the metal back plate that goes to it. Um, when I opened it up, the actual part of it came right off of it. Um, I, now I've got it in pieces because I took it apart to try to figure out what the heck was wrong with it. But uh, right here, if you look at the back of that, I've got a set of calipers up here somewhere. There we go. I wrote this person to let them know that, hey, I think there was something missing on the back of this. Well, she got all snooty with me, and I'll show you the information she sent me. All right, set of calipers here. All right, I'm going to set the depth gauge. All right, right here is the back of a transistor, as you can tell. It's actually a MOSFET. I've already looked this MOSFET up, and, well, it doesn't really, it ain't supposed to be providing 40 amps, like they say. All right, I'm using, there's a little piece here at the bottom of my uh, calipers that I'm going to use to show you the depth that this is. Got it set. Okay, right now it's sitting at 0.78. So there's a gap from the top of this down to the bottom. Alright, well that sits here on the back of this. And if you look right there, you can see where the... Look like there's, I don't know, like a puddle of solder, solder or something there, I guess. And you can see all that blackening around there. That's where the uh, transistor got hot and blew up, basically. I mean, it smoked. And it looks like it went on the back of there. And you can see on the transistor right there where something came out of it. Don't know what it was. Uh, I took it apart, broke it apart so I can see what kind of transistor it is. And if you ever look up the uh, part number IRFP260M, you look that part number up. It's a MOSFET. It's only rated at 35 amps. Well, if this is supposed to you know pull 40 amps how are you getting the extra 5 amps I don't know um, and it's only rated at 300 watts well if you were to put 40 amps at 220 volts you, j you do the math that's well over 300 watts right yeah, exactly um, so obviously the Chinese once again screwing us Americans over they're not you know they're underrating stuff that it's not rated at so don't be fooled by this ebayer don't buy from them i mean i'm gonna guess i have to build my own solid state relay because obviously everything i look at on here made in damn china i can't stand it i mean if they'd make good product and wouldn't lie about it i wouldn't care but they she you know they lied to me i want to go to my messages Internet being super slow today. There we go. Okay. I wrote them, and here's this lady. She wrote back to me. 
And I told her what was wrong with it, what I thought was wrong with it. And here it is. She goes, hi. As for your information, the back of the transistor was, a, was 0.87 from the metal back plate. If you do not add the thermal silicone grease between junction of the relay and the heat sink, the relay and the heat sink cannot touch enough for the relay, so the relay burnt. For example, the thermal, the other, you know, talking to me like I'm some idiot, the thermal grease is between the CPU, CPU fan in order to keep it cool. The thermal grease are almost close to liquid, so it can be shipped by registry airmail. Air mail. You need to own it yourself. It's like, like she's saying, it's my fault that somehow, how the hell am I going to get fucking thermal grease? My question between their fucking chip that is glued or supposedly glued on the metal back of that metal back plate, wherever the hell I put it at. There it is. I'm trying to keep thermal grease from getting all over everything. So what am I supposed to do? Take it apart? Because this is originally, it, it's super glued. You can see that there's super glue. Like there, right here, that's super glue. And it's glued on the back of that. And it's all on the back of that housing. So if she's telling me that I guess I'm supposed to unglue that and put thermal grease inside of this little square piece and then put it on here? I don't think so. So uh, watch your guys sell, watch some of these eBayers on here and watch who you're buying from. They're selling crap, especially this person. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, oh, I guess before I go, I mean, I guess since I can't get a, um, a decent, I don't know, relay, has anybody out there got any good information on building a solid state relay? Because that's what this is. Uh, they've got some more on there, but it seems like every damn one of them's made in China, and I don't really want to go to that route again of getting screwed. Um, I like to build my own, I guess. I mean, I've seen some videos out there where somebody took an opto coupler and they just took some transistors, which is basically what that is. It ain't got an opto coupler in there, but it's basically what it is. They just take a couple transistors or MOSFETs and they basically make a switch out of it. Uh, if anybody out there knows any good information on that or any good websites out there for making your own uh, solid state relay, uh, hit me up. Uh, if you know anybody that knows anything, have them hit me up. All right, well, that's about it. Um, right now, I've got my regular mechanical relays back on there, so at least I'm not down forever, but I was kind of hoping that was going to work because it's quieter and I'd think it'd be, you know, I thought it would be last longer than more than two days. All right, well. Peace out, you guys. I'll talk to you later.